everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm filming my March favourites. Love filming favourites videos, they're always really easy to do. So this month I have a variety of different items to share with you that I've been loving but there is also an item that I haven't been liking. I want to kind of include products in my favourites videos that I haven't really been liking as well um, but this month there's only one. So let's get straight into the video. So the first category I'm going to talk about is makeup and I have a few items to share with you. The first product is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I purchased this a couple of weeks ago just kind of from Tesco's but obviously it's Maybelline and I got it in the shade number 15. I've never tried this before I just thought you know let's try something new and I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. When I first used it I was like mm, you know I'm not so keen on it like as much as the collection one but I you know I did like it but it wasn't anything special and you really do have to use a product time after time after time for you to kind of get a feel for the product and after using this now for a couple of weeks i've used it every single day i really do quite like this it's not thick and cakey like the collection lasting perfection one it is the perfect shade for kind of my skin tone like it matches perfectly and the consistency it's really good coverage the consistency of it is really nice and the formula is also really nice. It's not drying in any way and it's also not greasy or oily. It's like almost the perfect concealer. It doesn't have heaps of coverage but then again it's not really light coverage. So I actually think I might buy this again when it runs out because it's a really good one. And there's a lot of product in here as well. The next thing is this mascara here from miss lynn and it's an intense volume mascara i do feel like i might have included this in a favorites video before i wasn't sure but i just wanted to include it again just in case i hadn't and this one is definitely there for the volume um the applicator brush is very thick and bristly and it really does give that volume if you if you know if you like that um it gives length and volume it is a little bit clumpy at times but you've just got to kind of work with it i don't tend to layer this up i tend to just put one coat of this on and i'm done um but i think if you did kind of layer it up you would get a lot of volume but it would be kind of a little bit clumpy love this mascara it was a really decent price i got it from beauty bay and I would recommend giving it a try. And then finally for makeup, I have the Collection Primed and Ready Setting Spray. You might have seen me using this in a couple of previous videos. This is a really good setting spray. You have a lot of um, like product in the bottle. I've actually been using this for two things, or actually for three things. I first of all use it as a primer now. So it is. it, it does say Primed and Ready, so you can spray this on your face as a primer. So I literally just spray it on my face before I put makeup on and it just means that when I apply my foundation it doesn't kind of get all dry or anything. It just means that you, your foundation just goes onto a really nice kind of smooth base. And I also spray this on my makeup, my foundation brush. Um, yeah, I spray this on my foundation brush because I want... Um, because I just feel like the foundation just blends in a little bit better. I don't know, I have done this for a very long time and it works so much nicer um, than just having a dry brush. And I feel like the product doesn't kind of cling to the brush. And then I also spray this on my face after I've done my makeup. And what it does is if your kind of makeup is looking a little bit powdery and it's like, you know, you can really see the powders on your skin. As soon as you spray this on, kind of buff it out a little bit with a beauty blender um, just to kind of pat it in your skin looks really kind of smooth you can't see the powders it all looks like it's seamlessly blended in and it just looks so much nicer so i've loved this one it does say it's yeah it says for a prolonged matte finish i have oily skin so this really helps me out um i wouldn't say it makes your skin really that matte in a way like it doesn't make it dewy or anything but it doesn't make it like drying or anything like that it's a really really good product Okay, then next up I have one skincare favourite and it's these little silk cocoons and I have mentioned this in a previous vlog that I've uploaded so you can obviously go and watch that. Um, but yeah, I mentioned these just because they're so, so cool. My friend Steph got me them for my birthday just from the Flying Tiger and they look so cute. They're like these little, um, little pockets. Oh my God. Hello. Sorry, my camera's just slightly fallen sorry about that sorry my camera is clearly not feeling uh, the vibes of the day um but anyway 
they're like little um cocoon things that you literally put your finger in them and then get my facial scrub in my hand and I literally just buff it in. I used one of these yesterday and it just makes the scrub a little bit more intense and it means that you can target more specific areas of your face like round your nose um, and like under your eye and it's just, I don't know, it's just fun to use and I've, I have noticed that it does make the scrub actually work so much better. So I just thought I'd give those a cheeky little mention and yeah, they're all little cute things and there's different sizes in there for different fingers on your hand so that's always handy literally um a couple of food favorites this month and the first one is these little mints here these are from Lidl and they're like peppermint sugar-free mints um I literally have been taking these into sixth form every single day and my friends you know at lunchtime I'm like oh does anyone want a mint everyone always wants a mint I don't know why we all just love these mints they're really really good and they're like 85p or something stupid like that like a really good price yeah love them so they're just kind of like these tiny little small mints and they're just so handy for like i don't know especially being at six form like if you've just eaten some food and you just want a little mint to freshen up these are just so perfect chewing gum is obviously not like the best for your stomach or anything like that and your digestive system so having a little mint like this is just a little token and then just a little mention here to these quick milk straw thingies they've got like milkshake in them i'll show you one they're really cool my mum bought me these the other day just for fun and they've got like milkshake in them and then you like put a, it in a glass of milk and like drink the milk i have noticed though that milk does actually make my stomach hurt quite a lot so i think there's something in milk that's not like the best um for me so i don't drink milk that often anymore or in like large amounts so i won't be using these up incredibly quickly but i do love the taste of milk it just it aggravates my stomach and makes me bloated so you know stupid milk then i have two fashion favorites to kind of finish us off with the favorites um the first one is this um set of dungarees and it's like one of those kind of actually is it called a pinafore like it's 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 got like a almost like a dress type thing like it's not shorts and it's not legs it's like a dress but i'm not sure what it's called and yeah i got it for christmas from my mom i just love it like it looks so cute when you wear it and the color of it is just something different to add into your wardrobe like it's one of those colors that you don't really um i don't know like instead of getting black why not go for purple it just adds a little bit of extra color into your wardrobe and literally what i love about this is i compare it with jumpers in the winter even hoodies you can wear it with like underneath obviously um in the spring i compare it with kind of long sleeve t-shirts and then in summer you can wear it with a really kind of thin t-shirt or whatever like you can literally wear this all year round which is what i love about this and i've been really wearing this a lot recently so yeah i broke my last ones from primark and they were black so hopefully i don't break these ones um either because i did love the black ones and then finally i have really really loved this fluffy jumper i bought it literally last weekend and i got it from Topshop. i did mention it in a vlog and it's just so fluffy i wore it in one of my previous videos as well and it's the coziest little thing it's definitely the fashion now to be wearing kind of really kind of oversized fluffy things right now and i just love that because you know I think it would have probably benefited me if I'd bought this in winter rather than at the beginning of spring um, because I felt like as soon as I bought this suddenly the next day it was spring it literally was that that was the case um, and you know but I still can wear this obviously in the evenings and stuff like that and it's one of those things that you can just whack out every single year and I I'm a very cold person so I'm sure I can still wear it a lot during spring anyway um but yeah it's not as warm as it actually looks to be fair like the material's not as thick as you would think but it is still quite cozy so yeah love this okay so that is everything for kind of my favorites of the month I'm now going to talk about a product that is not really a favorite and it is the the Eliza Naturals 3-in-1 cleansing papers again I mentioned this in my previous vlog but I did want to just stick it in this video um just to give my final thoughts on it um when I first got this loved it thought it was really really good I mentioned I did a whole video on this product so you can go and watch that if you want to I'll link it down below um and yeah really really liked it it was actually a video for the brand so they did actually send this to me for free um and it sorry my light looked like it was going to fall over 
even though they send people send things um, for free sometimes, it doesn't mean that I need to say positive things about it. It means that I can give a completely honest review. So this is me giving my second complete honest review. I am gonna go back to that video in the comments and write down my experience with it. Um, but actually I found that I got really bad dry skin after using this um, and it was after I'd uploaded that video unfortunately, down here and here. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll stop using it and clear up my dry skin. The dry skin cleared up and then I thought I'll start using it again to see if it brings back the dry skin. And I used this yesterday and already I've noticed I feel kind of itchy here and it's slightly dry. So I know it is this product and unfortunately that's sad because I did actually really like this. I thought it was a really good idea. It's paper that turns into foam. You know, it was a cool idea, um, but it is too drying for my skin. I just wanted to mention that. Obviously, different products work for different people in different ways. So it might, you know, it might be all right for you. Who knows? But I'm going to give this to, I don't know, somebody else who wants to use it, or I might try it a couple more times. So that is everything for my March favorites this month. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a little insight into the things I like every single month. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below for some more videos and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!